Institute of Technology uh, in Kanpur. And he's someone uh, who says the technology is available and that uh, the government of Delhi and the center have gotten in touch with him. Uh, Professor, thank you very much. We have, of course, seen cloud seeding and artificial rain uh, being induced during the Beijing Olympics to bring the pollution levels down. Is that a solution for Delhi as well? It's a temporary solution because uh, when you do seeding uh, mm. and you need clouds in order to do that, uh, and it can bring down the pollution level substantially, but until the sources are controlled, uh, the pollution will rise again. Uh, in that case, can I ask you, right now, if the Delhi government asks you, because in the, we are in the middle of a major crisis, if the Delhi government asks you to see if cloud seeding can be done over Delhi in the next 24 to 48 hours, what will your response be? Will it be possible? It will not be possible for the simple reason that uh, over the next 72 hours, Delhi will have no clouds. All right. Delhi will have no clouds. Uh, so could you help our viewers understand the science behind cloud seeding and why, of course, clouds are required for cloud seeding? I know it sounds logical, but anyhow, please do explain to our viewers. Okay, sure. So what we do in the cloud seeding is uh, that we spray a mixture of salt or various kind of salts into the clouds. And each, it's the mixture uh, that I'm talking about is ground very fine. So each salt particle is a few micrometers in diameter. When it goes into the cloud, uh, the cloud needs to have certain amount of moisture in it. So then the water starts condensing around each of these particles. And at, once it condenses, then the, uh, the whole droplet becomes weighty and then it falls by gravity and that's how it rains. So the, therefore, the hmm. a precondition for doing cloud seeding is presence of clouds with a reasonable amount of moisture in them. Or they take the